uh, yeah, so in this lecture what we are going to do is we are going to try to understand the four strokes of the engine and now we are now uh, you, you already know the four strokes uh, that is the suction stroke, uh, the compression stroke, the ignition and the power, the ignition uh, is done and then followed by the power stroke and then the exhaust stroke. Okay? So, we are going to sort of look at these four stroke from a thermodynamic angle that means we are now dealing with the fresh charge which has come into this system. So, uh, the one way of dealing with uh, modeling this particular uh, activity uh, is to take the thermophysical properties of the entire mixture. So, you have the air fuel mixture for example, in case of a petrol engine. Uh, so, today we will confine our discussion to only petrol engines and as I told you in one of the previous lectures, petrol is a very fast burning fuel. So, that means as soon as the ignition takes place through a spark plug, uh, then uh, immediately the rate of reaction is so high that the enthalpy will be released in a very short time. Okay? So, uh, what we are going to do today, we are confining our discussion to petrol engines and we will try to see how these processes can be represented on a, uh, on a thermodynamic, uh, let us say, uh, coordinate system. So, uh, one way as I was telling you is that we actually make the, the, the composition of the, of the fuel and the air the mixture is treated so that we have a mixture density, we have a mixture specific heat uh, uh, and, and, and then we have a mixture uh, let us say properties. So, all the thermodynamic properties are actually taken for the mixture. So, that is of course, we can always do that, but then to simplify the processes, uh, we would uh, for the for, for today's lecture, uh, what we will do is we will confine our discussion to uh, let us say only the air properties. So, let us assume that only air, we are dealing with only air. So, air is our working fluid for example, or working medium through which we want to operate this air into a cyclic process and try to get meaningful work by giving it heat and converting this heat into uh, let us say uh, a positive work. So, how we are going to do that? So, let us say it is a normal engine. So, I have tried to, uh, uh, I have tried to uh, create four diagrams here. Uh, uh, at different let us say strokes of the engine. So, in the first position, we will assume that the inlet valve was open, the exhaust valve was closed, the inlet valve was open, the piston had gone back and it has sucked air in the suction stroke. Okay? So, let us say air right now is available here, air is available here. In a real engine, it is air plus fuel. Okay? But right now, let us say, let us just assume that air is available and somehow we can give the enthalpy, okay? somehow we can give the enthalpy to this particular air. Uh, in, in a real situation, we will actually burn the fuel and to, in for today's discussion, we will assume that there is some mechanism by which heat can be added to this quantity of air. So, this, this air is now trapped inside and now we can begin the process. So, what is the process? The first point, so as soon as you in the, the, the inlet valve was open, the piston has gone back and the air has come from the atmosphere. So, the, it, this is connected to the atmosphere here and the air has actually come in and we are now here, the inlet valve is closed now, exhaust valve also uh, can be, uh, is, is already closed. Okay? So, we have this control volume now. So, this is, the, this is our control volume and we are actually going to work with this control volume. Okay? So, now what we will do? what is the pressure so at this at this position there is the the pressure is nearly p atmosphere here it is p atmosphere and there is certain volume v so let us assume that there is this is the total volume uh, of of this is equal to v and this is p atmosphere okay and if we represent this at a certain temperature t which is t equal to ambient okay so this is the initial condition and this initial condition we can say, let us say we we represent it at this point Okay? So, this is the V axis and this is the pressure axis and this is one atmosphere here. Okay? So, we are now ready to begin our thermodynamic process, we are ready to compress this air. Okay? So, why do you want to compress? Because we want to increase the pressure of this system, we want to increase the temperature of this system, the volume will decrease and as I told you in the last class, this process can be done either isothermally or adiabatically. So, for today's discussion, let us assume that we are doing this process adiabatically. In the real time, it is neither isothermal nor adiabatic. So, we will discuss real cycles a little later. So, right now we assume that there is an insulation all around this, so that 
वॉट एवर वर्क वी आर डूइंग इन कंप्रेशन द प्रेशर इज राइजिंग द वॉल्यूम इज डिक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर इज गोइंग अप एंड नो अमाउंट एज सुन एज द टेम्परेचर गोज अप हीट वुड लाइक टू गो आउट बट वी हैव नाउ पुट एन इंसुलेशन हियर ऑल अराउंड अवर सिलेंडर ऑल अराउंड अवर सिलेंडर वी हैव अ इंसुलेशन दैट मीन्स वी डू नॉट अलाउ एनी हीट टू गो आउट ऑफ दिस सिस्टम ओके सो वी विल बी डूइंग एडियाबैटिक कंप्रेशन ओके प्लीज रिफर टू योर थर्मोडाइनमिक लेक्चर्स अगेन टू मेक दीज लेट्स से दीज की वर्ड्स विच आई एम यूजिंग यू शुड बी मोर फेमिलियर विद दीज की वर्ड्स आई विल बी यूजिंग दैम अगेन एंड अगेन एज वी गो अलॉन्ग सो वी आर गोइंग टू नाउ स्टार्ट द कंप्रेशन सो एज एज यू डिक्रीज द वॉल्यूम ओके द प्रेशर विल राइज द प्रेशर विल राइज हियर एंड वी आर डूइंग इट एडियाबैटिकली सो एसेंशियली द प्रेशर इज गोइंग टू राइज so we will follow certain path okay and this is a, on this path let us say if it is adiabatic process then we are pv to the power gamma was a constant okay so this is an adiabatic compression process we have reached here so now on the i will just repeat the same uh, the same figure on the on the on the second graph so we have actually reached here that means we have done the compression stroke so this is called as the compression stroke we have compressed the the air which we, we which was our working fluid from this volume to certain volume here okay so the piston has actually come here now so that is what i have made in this diagram so this this volume which will remain because you cannot you cannot make this volume zero because the pressure will become infinite okay we would not like to do that for many many reasons i we will discuss that in a later part why this volume uh, has to be finite and what is the implication of the fuel on this volume okay so let us say we call this as the clearance volume okay so this is the clearance volume so you actually end up very close to the top dead to this top part but you actually don't make this volume zero you keep it finite otherwise the pressure will rise extremely high the temperature will also rise high which we do not want okay so i will explain you why we do not want it but right now for this discussion we say that the piston has come to a certain level that means we have come to a some clearance volume so this this is the clearance volume and the 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 distance which the piston has moved okay which is called as that is called as the swept volume okay so the piston has moved from this location and it has come up to this point okay in this position uh, the total volume which it has run is swept volume so that means the area of cross section of the cylinder multiplied by the length and this length is the stroke length this length is the stroke length from this position to this position so that means it has come from the bdc that is the bottom center to the tdc that is the top center it has swept from this position to this position and we have compressed the the working fluid compress the working fluid now let us to model a petrol engine for example i was talking to you that in this lecture we will have petrol engine as our model so we want to now the petrol burns instantaneously that means if there is a spark here if there is a spark here the entire charge the entire petrol vapor which is present in this clearance volume is suddenly going to burn that means of course it takes finite time but that that time is extremely short and the rate of reactions are such that we can assume that all the enthalpy of combustion is available at this location to the uh, 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 to the control volume okay so now suppose if i have to if i have to model it what and heat is coming in and the volume the, the 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 rate of heat coming in is so fast that the, the, it it doesn't give any chance to the piston to actually change the volume that means the piston is still just about here as soon as it is here all the heat has come in so you can model that as i was telling you in the last class you can model it as a heat addition at constant volume okay so the volume will remain constant 
and if you add some heat to this control volume this control volume if you add some heat to it through the burning or the through the combustion of the fuel your pressure will go up okay and this is a vertical line i am drawing here because the heat has come nearly at constant volume the volume has not changed this control volume has actually not changed because our fuel was reasonably fast burning and it we were able to get that enthalpy quickly uh, to this combustion chamber by burning of a spark plug for example so we have initiated the combustion and very quickly uh, the the enthalpy has come in so as soon as the pressure goes up now okay we have reached so from 1 we have come to 2 through the suction stroke and now we have added the heat in okay so q has been added okay naturally some work was done in compression we were looking at the syringe in the last lecture and we i i had to really do work against the atmosphere to pressurize this the, uh, the uh, 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 on the right hand side there is atmospheric pressure outside it is atmospheric pressure so when i am pushing this piston i have to i have, I have to do some work okay uh, so this is work done on the system now the heat has been added to the system so heat has been added at constant volume so as soon as the pressure and the temperature goes up now the piston has gone up and it is now started the downward journey that means it has now we will move on to the third figure now so we are now in the expansion stroke okay so this is the expansion stroke this was the incidence of combustion has just taken place the pressure and temperature have risen okay Uh, uh, the 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 temperature also has risen in the in the process okay and you have reached here okay and now you are expanding that means now the system is doing work on the environment that means we are now giving we are now getting work out of the system okay so the work will and as the work is done mind you we are still adiabatic that means we did not the 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 insulation is still intact we are not allowing any heat to escape anywhere because we have paid actually money to get that heat we don't want to get it uh, sort of wasted here and there so our insulation is still intact and in that process the insulation is still here okay and the piston is now doing work so this control volume is actually now doing work so positive work is coming out w out here we had to do w in to to compress the piston now you are doing w out so you are actually getting work here in this uh, in this expansion or the power stroke we can also call it the power stroke okay so in this stroke there will be expansion okay now so let us make that diagram again so we have compressed we have added the heat and now we are expanding again and this expansion mind you this expansion is this expansion is again adiabatic expansion so you will again follow pv to the power gamma is equal to constant okay here also you are following the same route for example from going from 1 to 2 to 3 and now the piston will go right up to the back that is what i have made here it will go right up to the back and it will reach actually this position again it will go to the uh, to the bdc that is the bottom dead center or the bottom center from the tdc position which was which was here okay so let us let us make that also here in the last diagram so you will reach this point now at this point if you want to come back because you essentially want a thermodynamic cycle to take place okay so from this position you need to come to this position okay so what do you want to do essentially what you are saying is that now you want to get rid of this heat whatever is the remaining enthalpy here some enthalpy came at this position out of which work was done and some enthalpy is now remaining in this air uh, the uh, our working fluid so this enthalpy you would like to get rid that means you want to have a sink wherein you can throw this heat out the low temperature sink is needed and that is usually the ambient so now you have you cannot work with this uh, insulation anymore so you have to remove the insulation and quickly somehow quickly uh, how it is exactly done in an ic engine we will come to that uh, very soon so we have to get rid of this this q out has to 
go out of this system and as soon as this q out goes instantaneously let us assume it to be instantaneous for the time being so as soon as it goes instantaneously out okay then what happens is that you are actually reducing the temperature at constant volume okay the volume remains constant this control volume is still constant the volume remains constant and at this position you have modeled it as if you have removed the heat very quickly so from your pressure naturally uh, the the it's a constant volume process so p1 upon t1 is equal to p2 upon t2 so your pressure will decrease and you will come back to one atmosphere so you have come back again here once you are again here you are you can actually repeat the process again okay so from here the thermodynamic cycle the thermodynamic cycle will again start operating so this piston can now again go uh, so it it can compress mind you we had only air so somehow we were giving the heat in a real system we were this was burnt in an ideal system which we want to assume as a model for our ic engine we have some mechanism of giving this heat so this mechanism th this was an instantaneous way of giving the heat okay which in reality is through the burning of the petrol uh, of course and uh, we also model this as a quick uh, heat transport mechanism infinite amount of uh, uh, rate of heat so very quickly the all the heat comes out so this is actually a model uh, this is not the reality so uh, in in one of the next lectures we will actually discuss the reality versus the model and what you have seen here is actually a process by which you have been able to generate net positive work so the area under the pv integral pdv okay if you if we do integral pdv this will be the area mind you this was the work done by us but we got we increased the enthalpy here and therefore the expansion took place at an average higher pressure and therefore you got net work out of the system so essentially what we have done is we have run a thermodynamic cycle okay which operates in a cycle by exchanging heat at this location and this location okay and doing positive work net positive work has come out so if you repeat this process you are actually constructing an engine that means you are constructing a heat engine wherein uh, the heat the thermal energy is converted to mechanical work so this is the a typical uh, cycle of a petrol engine and as you will recall this particular cycle is called as the auto cycle so auto cycle uh, is a good representation or the uh, 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 starting point wherein you can model an, a real engine which is a petrol engine fast burning engine and this is uh, this is what i said is fast burning that means instantaneously the heat comes in at nearly constant volume okay uh, and you can model it and you can use it uh, to model uh, 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 an ic engine and from wherein you can actually now you can recall what you have studied in thermodynamics that you can actually get the efficiency of this particular cycle so we will derive those efficiencies of the actual the ideal cycle the 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 mixture cycle and the real cycle also we will see in uh, subsequent lectures but for this lecture uh, it, it, you should understand that uh, auto cycle is a good representation of a fast burning fuel which is the petrol engine